Here at ColorTech, we like to use a program called InDesign in order to create many of our files. Some of the things we are able to design include but aren't limited to postcards, flyers, brochures, and business cards. If we are going to be printing these documents using our large-scale printers, one of the most important things to include in the document setup is something called bleed. The bleed is an area extending past your page and where the printer trims the paper. It acts as a margin of error to ensure you won't have any white margins around your pages. Here is an example of what a finished business card might look like with and without bleed. Can you see the difference? Today, we're going to show you how to create bleed on an InDesign document. When you open InDesign, click Create New. Select the Print tab, and then under Preset Details, choose your unit of measurement. We usually prefer to use inches, but any unit is fine. Once you have everything for the top section specified to how you want them, scroll down and click on Bleed and Slug. Most documents use the standard bleed value of 0.125 inches, but larger documents may require a larger bleed area. Now, click Create to create your document. And there you have it! You should see this red line extending out past your document. This is your bleed. You will want to make sure any elements you place onto this page extend out to the bleed to make sure your design covers the whole page. Now, what if you want to add bleed to an InDesign document that already exists? Open up your document, go into File, and then Document Setup, all the way down here. You will get a pop-up on your screen showing you all of the preset details you were looking at earlier, so you are now able to go in and change aspects of the document. Here, we are going to set the bleed to 0.125 inches again, and then click OK. Once again, we can now see the red line of the bleed mark around the edge of the document. Now, if you're sending a PDF with bleed, make sure that when you export your PDF, you go to Export, Marks and Bleeds, and check Bleed Marks under Marks, and use Document Bleed Setting under Bleed and Slug. Thank you for watching! We hope this video has been able to show you how to create bleed on an InDesign document and why it is important for us to do this for printing your designs here at ColorTech.